A Tarrant County woman convicted of illegal voting has now been released from federal prison. Crystal Mason is on supervised release while she appeals a state conviction for voter fraud. Her attorneys argue the five-year state sentence was politically motivated. The DA says Mason knew she was ineligible but voted anyway. Fox 4's Dion Anglin is at the Tim Curry Justice Center where Mason's conviction appeal will be heard. Dion. Yeah, that's right. Continuing her legal fight, Crystal Mason and her attorneys maintain that the DA here in Tarrant County has made her a political target. I'm thinking in my mind, my whole mind frame was, well, I've been gone, so maybe they must got it like... Maybe it expired. Or... Reliving the election day that led to a state felony conviction for voting fraud. Crystal Mason cast a provisional ballot in the 2016 presidential election. She was out of federal prison under supervised release for a separate tax fraud case. She says federal authorities gave her a voter registration card as part of their pre-release instructions. Where is it on that application that says, hey, if you're on probation, parole, or supervised release, please don't check this box because you can't vote. Mason served an additional seven months of federal time because the state conviction triggered a violation of her supervised release. She's now out on bond while her state conviction is being appealed. Allison Grinter and Kim Cole make up her appellate legal team. They accuse the Tarrant County DA of making a political pawn of Mason. Folks with a felony conviction in Texas have the right to vote as long as they have completed their sentence and are not on probation or parole. And that's the debate. It's not a debate. And, and, and our criminal law cannot be a debate. That's, we have the right to know what is and is not legal. DA Sharon Wilson responded to Mason's attorneys with a statement, in part saying, we are bound ethically to follow the laws of this state. Prosecuting a felon for once again breaking the law is not a scare tactic. The only ones who have ever tried to politicize this case are Mason and her representatives. No one has anything to fear from our office unless the person chooses to break the law. The goal of her entire prosecution and conviction is voter suppression. Let's not get it misunderstood. That is the entire goal um, so that she can be made an example to anyone who looks like her to stay away from the polls. I didn't know. I just didn't never think that it was I this. couldn't vote. Yeah. Mason is awaiting a date for oral arguments to appeal the illegal voting conviction. This prosecution is about voter intimidation and it's lovely that they won't be apologetic about enforcing the law, but Crystal Mason does not want an apology. She wants justice. She wants equal rights under the law, and that's what she's entitled to. And it is the second court of appeals, which is housed here at this courthouse in downtown Fort Worth, that is uh, expected to soon set a date for oral arguments in the Crystal Mason conviction appeal.